<laughs> Bullcock. How's it going? You alright? How's it going? How's everyone doing? We doing good? Hello. Ah, oh, sorry. Just taking a whiz. How's everyone going? We doing good? Hey everyone, uh, we were talking about cock and balls. Oh, it's because I was taking the piss. Sorry, I didn't mean to implant that image into your mind. It's my fault. I influenced you too hard. That's why I call me an influencer. Oh, what a title. A title I'm not fond of, but whatever. What a title I say a piss was that? It's more like a garden sprinkle more than anything. How's it going, everyone? Are we doing okay? Who've we got? Hello, Echo. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Irish. Hello, Bones. Hello, Nick. Hello, Alhan. Welcome. Hello, Aragum. Hello, Aro. You doing alright? How's everyone going? Hello, Ray. I went to go and save. No shame in that. I mean, if taking a dump is a save in No More Heroes, what is uh, a piss? Oh, duh! Quick save. No shit. Of course. A true Super Saiyan always sprinkles when he tingles. Dear. Oh, you just remind me I need to put some Jag uh, Dragon Ball P sound bites on the soundboard. Absolutely. I've had a few extra though. If you're lucky, maybe you'll hear them during the stream. You never know. You finished painting German. Ooh, cool. Looking forward to that. Your cap. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're that guy. Cool. So, anyway, you're almost done with painting German, yeah? You got your Guardian Dragon miniature today? Sweet. You're watching Cat Game or walking your dog? Aw, oh, surrounding yourself with all the animals there, Cat Ball. That's cute. Domp is also how Frank and Shark save, so it's clearly a growing trend in saving. Good. It makes sense. Even Ultra Despair Ghost did the whole pissing thing as a save point. goman has been posted. Ooh, I'll look at that after. I can't tell you how nice it is to be wearing clothes while streaming. As weird as that sounds, kind of out of my mouth of all people. Eh? It's just, you know, it's actually not like an oven in here for once. I can't believe it. So I can actually wear shorts and a shirt for once. It's not a Yakuza stream. I can't believe it. And even with the windows all closed, I mean, it might change after a couple of hours of all the windows closed, not gonna lie. But for now, I'm not completely sure that's in my boxes. So, you know, it's definitely a change to an usual trend. Because, not gonna lie, when I'm just in nothing but my pants, uh, I just feel really, like, loungy and, and lazy. I don't feel like doing shit. Whereas when I got my shirt on, when I got a bit of clothing on, I'm motivated, I'm good to go. I'm not saying I'm not motivated when the clothes are off, man. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But, you know, it just puts me more in a mood to do stuff, that's all. Stuff that doesn't involve naked stuff. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it feels good to be in clothes again. And it actually rained today! I can't believe it! There was actually rain falling from the sky! Praise be to the heavens, because they opened for us, sir, and it was absolutely so refreshing. It's lovely. The whole time, I just ran out my garden and just, like, literally lied in it. It was lovely. It was lovely. See me on the words, like the guy from the room. Which guy is that? Tommy Wiesel? I've not seen the room in ages. Mind you, they do play the room every month at Prince Charles for you, just for a laugh. Maybe I should go there again, just to see it in cinema form once again. Bless that cinema. Mask clothes do put some people in the mood. True, true, true. Sometimes less is more, or more is less. Wait, what? No rain here, but we got some of its effects. A cool breeze and the general temperature is lowered. Yeah, thank God for that. And I hear it's going to thunderstorm on Wednesday. I think it might be a bit hot tomorrow, but for the rest of that, it's going to be showers, which is honestly, uh, I can't wait. The heat has just overstayed its welcome for so, so long. The one random fuck that talks to Mark or Tommy and says that she walked in and saw me in my underwear <laughs> like a 12 year old. I can't remember that scene. Again, it's been so long since I've watched The Room. But I'll talk like a 12 year old anyway. She walked in and saw me in my underwear. I don't know if that was on point or possibly better since this is The Room we're talking about. I did not, Alhan. I did not. Oh, hi, Echo. During your three-week trip to Italy, it only rains twice and the temperature got up to 45 degrees. Fuck that. That is actual Florida weather. That sounds awful. Because rain is nice, but not when it's, like, really hot at the same time, because that way you just can't breathe. You get a bit of damp air and that's it. You never watched a room? I'll definitely give it a watch. It's definitely one of those bucket list sort of films where it's so bad, but you got to watch it. That and Samurai Cop. 
And I can't believe they made a second Samurai Cop. That was actually a, a stealth release. Uh, apparently it's set in a spaceship now or something. They've gone through... I don't know if it's going to be as good though. Because Samurai Cop was unawarely bad. Whereas I feel like 2 knows what it is. And it's going to try too hard. I've just got that feeling from that one trailer that I saw. So I'm not sure. It's definitely not going to be as good as 1. Hey, the, the Pickle J. Thanks for following, man. But I feel like if you want a good runner-up to the room, absolutely watch Samurai Cop. It's really bad. Like, it's really bad. But it's so bad that it's good. <laughs> we had a drinking game on a New Year's Day at one point with that film, and we got absolutely smashed. It was great. You'll DM the scene to me? Oh, cheers, mate. Have a look after. All right, I'm going to give you guys some points. While I pour myself a drink. Hey, enjoy. What have I got? Oh, I've got the drink that won the poll yesterday for our Elden Ring recording session. I'll be having that. Jamaican rum. Here we now. Boom, my God. Lovely. I need some Pepsi, but not just any Pepsi. The only Pepsi that I've got left. Dire Pepsi. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ugh. <clears throat> you want a duel for zero points. <laughs> uh, oh, for honest, I recognize your username. Thank you very much for following, man. Hmm. You did it, you won zero. But maybe Saber's just sending a message. I don't know. Let me test the soundboard's working, actually. Give me a second. Uh, can you guys hear this? Yes! It might come up when I actually go on to the actual video. Hey, Foronis. Hi from the UK. Nice to see you during the live stream for once, mate. Strap in and make yourself comfortable. You hear it? Nice one. Kill! Thank you. Cheers, Shawkin. Welcome to the chat. Well, I think I've seen you here before. I could be wrong. Oh, shit. Best two in a row. This is the only time Jerry wins. Oh, shit. Hmm. But he's also got Tia, which means he's a member of my family and my bloodline, which means that he's definitely a winner to me. More of a VOD guy. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad people are actually watching the VODs. That's really good, actually. <laughs> I'm glad they're giving people a uh, use. I'm glad they got a use for people. So that's good to know. I'll be uploading some more Resident Evil 7 soon, hopefully. Just got to get some thumbnails done and, of course, work on my other things as well as in real life shit. And I'll get around to it eventually. <sighs> And I think Resident Evil 7 is actually the last pre-streamed series that I've got to move on to the YouTube channel, funny enough. So once Resident Evil 7 has been uploaded, all that's left is just the streams that I do right now. They'll be the last videos to be put on in sequence once I've actually done them. So hopefully that won't slow down production. I'm sure I won't. Because Ben's streaming too. You'll get about three videos a week, I'd say. Yeah, people say it's better to be there live, to be honest. Because you get to talk to me and witness me live. All that good stuff. You guys like talking to me in real time? Or should I say you guys like talking to me? Right? Right. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Let's go. Let me just turn the volume. Stretch. Key stretch. Nice. Cool. I love that. The little glowy eyes. There's more evidence that 
cats are really just cute little fluffy aliens. My controller purring. Might be. I don't know. How's the sound, everyone? We sounding good? We alright? Last time we were just being a cat. And now we're gonna continue being a cat. Or I'm gonna lock myself in the fridge. Ah, oh, it's not a fridge that closes by itself. Also, what the fuck are you doing? Close your fridge. Moron. What Alma always does, and I imagine most cats do this as well, is that whenever she comes in to get fed and and we open the fridge. She doesn't wait outside the fridge for us to get the food. She waits, like, here. Right here. And I'll be standing right to the left of her. She'll be in the way. And sometimes she'll go inside. It'll come to the point where I'll be making a sandwich or something. Or whatever, like, lunch I'm making. I'm opening and closing the fridge door. And I will just be in there. And at one time when she was a kid, it closed on her. And I was like, for fuck's sake, Alma. What are you doing, you absolute dunderhead? And even now she does it. Fucking... Weird little kitties. Sounds good? Hey, sounds good. So we got a Sly Cooper away across some buildings and go to some rooms that have got a smiley face in it or something, I think. Let me check my backpack. There we go. We still getting memories. I think this stream series would take about four, maybe five parts, possibly. Because I've heard this game's pretty short. It's short but sweet. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Oh. Your cat never goes in the fridge weirdly. She did get her poor stuff under the stove twice. Oh god, that's a horrible place to get a poor stock. Hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. We already visited this place, but we could go check if there are other signs like that. Okay, so uh, I need to remember what places I went to before. There, there. Oh, and down there and up there. Better cook sad emojis. Like a super sad emoji. That distant looks like a oh my face, like a that kind of face. She's fine. Oh, that's good. I remember. I, this is the one time I actually had a go at my parents for not having their phones on them. So I was at work. I was on a morning shift, and my parents made a really big fat rookie mistake, where they went out for a walk for an hour, but. Guess who left the gas on? Yeah, I know. They told me about it. And uh, what happened was that they actually f forgot their keys on top of that as well. They were going to go out for a little bit. They let something cook. Uh, and they went for a walk. Uh, and they realized that they actually forgot their keys. And they didn't bring their phones out either. And I was away at work. And luckily, thank God, uh, there was a builder working on our neighbor's house. And they managed to call him over, and he managed to jump over the garden. And luckily, got inside the house from the back. And managed to turn off the oven. And Alma was about four months old, and she was in the kitchen at the time. And uh, I did my absolute nut. I actually had a proper go at him. I was like, you absolute idiots. I love you, but oh my god. This is why you always take a mobile phone with you. Just so you can call someone or anyone to like, you know, who's got a key like Nana or like mom, or my dad's mum to just get, just hold ass over there and open the door. Or tell me, even. <sighs> like, they really don't like technology. But I was at that point where I was like, okay, that's ridiculous. This is, a, this is an example of you actually needing a phone. Like, please, 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 please go and get a phone. Because next time you might not be so lucky with a builder walking about, and I did my absolute nut of them. Like, what I'm saying to you now is tame compared to what I said to them. Like, you know, father, mother, and son relationship aside, I was not having any of that. Poor little Alma. Anyway, I don't want to slag with my parents too much, because they are really nice, and they are really helpful, and they do look after me. But that was one blunder that I could not let go. <laughs> so thank God for that. Yeah, thank God the builder was around. They just don't like taking phones with them. But you really should take a phone, especially when everyone is outside the house, because you just never known. It's just insurance now, at this point. Man, bro, all the words that made Twitch TOS shudder, right? It's like bringing out the Rick Astley of the DMCA band songs. That is, is not supposed to be heard by mortal ears. 
Did I just come from that room? I think I did. I'll double check. This is what happens when I do story time while I play a game. I just run around aimlessly while I concentrate on the story that I'm telling. I think I've been in here. It looks like a room I've been in before, yeah. I think there was just one more that I gotta get. So we'll just double check every single room and see what happens. Today after the dentist you saw a black kitty walk in the park. Aww. Justice to black cats, by the way. They do not bring bad luck, don't care what anyone says. They are weird, superstitious non-believers. Boing. Hi, witch, you doing alright? How's it going? Meow. By the way, I'd like to point out that uh, certain rules in the Discord do indeed uh, migrate to the Twitch streams as well. And the mods know exactly what I'm talking about. And they are free to open fire if you dare say those banned words. Oh yes. You may fire at will. Except for Jerry, he's gone right now. But Arch is still here, which means he gets double the kills. So I'm sure he's very happy. Yeah. You know what this game reminds me of the most? Reminds me of Sly Cooper the most. Never actually played for years in time. Maybe they'll make another Sly game at some point in time. Fingers crossed. No, no, wait, you didn't do anything. I'm just memeing. I'm just memeing to the entire chat. I'm being a dictator. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm not, it's fine. And I think I've been in here too. Yeah, I have. This is the library. Yeah, that cat that was in three car accidents. It felt from the fourth floor of a building it made out just fine. Wow, your cat sounds like a right little trooper. Usually when a cat is caught in a road accident, that's usually curtains. But three of them and okay? Bloody hell. Five lives left, right? <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Sorry. I see you. But you're you're too important to mention. You're like the super secret optional boss that murders everyone when you least expect it. Okay, be in there. Uh, be in there. Uh, ah, these two. All right. Uh, top and bottom. You get to it from. Over there, I think. Meow. I'm true. <laughs> Nick is a nameless king. <laughs> exactly. Nick's the quiet one. Irish is definitely the loudest one. He'll be screaming all sorts of God knows what when he bans you. Ooh. Translate. Ventilation power supply. Oh! Oh! I got a plug! Where's it go? I don't know where it goes. How did you get Arash's voice? I managed to video call him and I got him up to the mic. And he managed to do a voice line for me, which is very nice of him. Cheers for that, Irish. Aha! Oh. Oh! Can I uh, pick this up or am I fucked? I saw a fan I just assumed. Oh, I think I just turned off the power. I don't need to, like, bring it to another power source. I'm gonna lick this water! I'm gonna lick the shit out of this. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Yeah! Horrible, drippy pipe water. Perfect for a cat. One of my old cats, Angel, we used to have a water fountain, and it was about the height of, um, hmm, it was about a, a meter high, and my cat would actually just jump into the fountain randomly and just lick the water out of it. It's for the birds, and Angel's just licking the shit out of it. She's a weirdo. Bless her. Fine, some good fucking water. Gags! Ah! Gags!
cats are weird little buddies. Django! Yeah! Could be some secrets in here. Oh, hello! Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zb. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call reserks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city was high enough. Oh no, not today, Zerg. Oh! Also, there's a note in this book. It says I found a design for the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. Oh no, equations! I'm a cat! Meow! We can communicate with the upper levels. That could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Alright. As long as he's doing the maths and I'm not, then we'll be square. Oh, this music. It makes you feel like you're a cat. Who would have thought? Jerry is the CEO of Fortnite because two of his most loved characters in existence made it to Fortnite. It checks out. Sorry, Jerry. The facts don't lie. Meow. I'm gonna meow every single time I can meow. 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 Uh, right over there. Jerry's got a point. They get, they're getting Goku in fucking Fortnite. Last week's episode of Dragon Ball Z. Imperfect Cell completely absorbed the whole of Tomato Town. It's up to Goku and the power is Kamehameha Gun to help save the day. Da, 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 da. Oops, wrong building. Watch him put an SMT character in Fortnite, then I will actually die. And I will feel Jerry's pain. Because I'm not into a lot of series religiously, except for Shibigami Tensei. So that would absolutely break my heart if I saw something like that. Unless it was Space Marine! If Space Marine from Strange Journey is a character in Fortnite, I'd be all up for that. He literally shoots the personification of Mother Earth in the face and wins. So that makes perfect sense for him to be in Fortnite. And Perfect Cell is creepy. I do love how Team Four Star made him even creepier than he is in the actual series. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Hello. I forgot where I have to go. Over there. Oh, cat. Cats and kitty cat. I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. How do you? I should really have you up as a sound boy. I say that a lot. But if I put something on a sound boy, it eliminates my need to say the thing. So, uh, when you really think about it, putting quotes in my soundboard actually makes me lose material. Like this one. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! Can't be saying that anymore, Nil. Because the soundbite version's just there. Fuck, where do I go? It's technically a puzzle. Balling! Yeah. How long do you fit it your own quotes? <laughs> when I grow over 100 years old and I'm putting cryostasis and I've luckily pre-recorded all my voice lines so I can just stream with catchphrases alone. I need the handicap after all.
I just came for that one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Just get Jerry's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the one who yeah, yeah, yeah is. I've never actually heard Jerry go yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never, I can't really imagine a posh yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds really alien to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi right, Leo, you doing okay? Just playing the cat game. Hmm. Got a room furniture. I heard you playing during that one Uno voice call, Jerry. It was all I needed. I plug yourself into an AI. Oh good. Okay, it's that one over there. Gordon! Why are my navigation skills suddenly as bad as Ben's? Yeah, hopefully we'll find some time on that. We still need to watch um, live action Scooby Doo, actually, Jerry. I need to make sure I've got a free night for that. At some point. Got museum work. Oh shit, you're gonna be Ben Stiller tomorrow. Good luck. Lord of Bones is gonna have his own night at the museum. We're gonna watch that soon. Yeah, I can't wait. I will be there. <laughs> where exactly is the guy where I just came from? Am I being a fool? Am I being a, a simpleton? A dimwit? Or my personal favourite, a nincompoop? Might be. Uh, first time, first time since 2002, which is when it came out. No, it's not his house either. Where is it? Come on, I gotta find it. I'm gonna bore the people watching and my numbers will go down. People will be like, oh, filler episode. LMO. Did I just call it LMO? I just did. LMO. LMO. Fucking Jesus Christ, LMO. Ha, LMO. <laughs> right, let's see. I've been there. I've been there. And I've been there. Alright, where's the guy? He was near the, um, I remember from the last stream, he's near the uh, orange neon sign. He's right fucking there. I think. Please say he is. Went down by two. No! Quick! Have more bits! I'll give you more points if you stay. Quick! Take him, take him all! I watch One Piece now. Film is fine. Doesn't make me feel any better, Jerry. I don't want to be compared to One Piece of all things. Where the fuck do I... Where is he? Is he up there? He's gotta be up there. He's gotta be. I just remember how to get up there. Then we're sorted. Yeah, he's up there. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Tonight's stream milestones. Oh my god, my cat almost slipped. That was horrible. That reminded me of the first part. Um, first roll of caller during the stream is to make it back to where I started. Can I do it? Oh shit, man, that's pretty high up. It looks hard. I don't know about that one, Chief. Aha! However... It looks like I'm very good at the game. Look at that. See, I knew that. Joe just streaming up a game in the middle of this stream. That's one piece. 
I could probably do that, actually. I can actually half this screen and then fit another one in. I could actually do that. I could actually... I could actually do that because I'm technically doing this from the capture card. Capture card and OBS are two separate things. So I could actually really do something trippier and stream both a PlayStation and an OBS game if I wanted to. Like, that is actually physically possible. Don't fucking tempt me. I've got the power to do so. Right now, I'm literally just using 5% of my power. Not that I can actually do that. That is actually a thing I can do. Hey, little cat. You still looking for those useless notebooks? Yeah. Oh, you found Kermitana's notes. She was really brave, you know. Most fearless person I've ever met. My favourite character in The Walking Dead by Telltale. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders. I'm also the last remaining one. That's Blah's notebook. I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Clementine. Blah. Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. You might be able to find your way up. Let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. SMT5 and straight at once. Make that a points reward. That'd have to be like a hundred thousand channel points. Because <laughs> that's big. Et voila, it works. Confirmed that these robots know another language except for English. Come with me. Besides English, I mean. I'm cutscene. You can tell because of the borders. Nice, gonna go outside, save the world, and ooh, ooh! Up there, see that building? High up above the others. No, I'm quite far away from it. That one there, as I stick the car out this poor cat's butt. If we install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. Gain a new item. If we're only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks, we need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Praise the sun. Nah, I'm gonna play this ball and sleep and just eat shit. You know, like a real cat would. Ah. I feel like some mod might have 100k. Hey, Joe, you got 20. That's terrifying. Where's the shit on command button? This one. There you go. There's a shit on command button. We'll make our own. We'll do it ourselves. Oh, I could explore. But there's also a cool zip line there. So... Oh, it's not even that far. And shit yourself. I'm going to make you shit yourself. It's probably the most threatening threat I've ever heard. Anytime, Irish. Whee! Adieu. Why does that remind me of Soul Wheel? That icon there. I don't know why it just does. It looks like the Soul Wheel theme, but instead of Soul's face, it's replaced with the Cheshire Cats. Cheshire, Cheshire Cat, eh? Hmm. Sensing the theme here. Boing. Boom. Rooftops. We have the technology to make people shit themselves at long range. Got a brown note of that shit. Oh. Oh my god. I'm actually, this is the most scariest game I've played because I don't want anything to happen to the cat. You're telling me a, a cat to go onto the ground when there are horrible head crabs from Half-Life walking about. Are you certain about this game? Oh god, the stream froze, you're right! Uh, hold on a minute, I can fix that. 
Fucking capture card is at it again, ladies and gents. That is why you lot are here. Give me a second. This won't take long. It throws all the interesting picture. And the best part is that when we stream Shimmy Guy and Tensei 5 on Saturday, we're also using a capture card for that! So, yeah, looking forward to more and more of these happening. That's right. I think our quick fix can't handle There we go. Just gonna show you my Photoshop skills quickly. And by skills, I mean the simplest thing to do. Well, that's music. I'll turn it down as well because it starts off on a weird default sound setting. There we go. Right, how are we doing? Yeah, sorry guys, it always starts off loud whenever you refresh the video capture device. Should be fine now, is that better? Or do you want to hear the meow at super loud, supersonic sounds? Hey yo, hey Ramin. Resubscribed for 17 months, mate. Good evening to you too. How you been, right? We good? We all clear to go? Everything all right? We good? Nice. As I was saying, yeah, the game is asking me, a cat, to go onto ground level where literal Half-Life headcrabs are. I feel like this is... Uh, not a great plan. Ah, oh, it's an unbearably and average level of volume. Yuck, my lo-fi has got to blow out my ear holes. I, why would I want to attract them? Oh my god, something happens to this cat. This is the scariest game I've ever played. This game is horrifying. Oh my god, no, 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 no! Where can I jump? Oh my god! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah! No! 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 No, 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 no! No, 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 run! Run! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, 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 that was horrible, that was horrible, that was horrible. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, <sighs> Man, that was fucked up. They were gone, I've been there, were there. This game is, my heart is beating so fast, that was horrifying. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I had a drink. That was a legitimate fear. That was fear in its most primeval form right there. If anyone dares to clip that, you're banned. Oh, yeah, this game's so relaxing. <laughs> I'm so glad they weren't actual hair crabs. Otherwise, yeah, that would have been way fucking worse. I thought that was it. Okay, I get it. Oh! I don't want to see this cat die. That one cutscene at the beginning was bad enough. I actually shed tears at that one cutscene. I don't want it to happen again. I don't want this game to expose the toxic masculinity that I choose to hide behind my entire life. Oh yeah, Woody is playing Dead Space for the first time, isn't he? I bet he loves the stomp mechanic. Everyone loves the stomp mechanic. There is a. Mm, okay, I feel good. Oh, well, that's a Jerry for a second. Oh, yeah, I can't screenshot. Damn it. Oh, what can I? Yeah, there we go. You've been immortalized in the cat game. He 
It looks like it says Jerry. The sea is full of neon. Oh, you thought it was Jerry, but it was neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. Oh shit. But people saw hope and not long after everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressor could do because everyone's doing it. It's like if everyone started using mobile phones and poolside all of a sudden, like every single member, I'd be fucked. I can't just tell everyone to stop because I don't have a whistle. I have to walk up to every single one like some mong and just tell them to please stop doing that. You're breaking the safety policy. Safeguard. Stop. I'm going to chuck you on this pool. I would if I could. When everyone does it, what can you do? It was a way for people to see colours again like on the outside. I think it helped. It's the outside. Eee. The robot makes noises like EGAD. Someone actually said that in the last stream, funny enough, Irish. Can't remember who it was, but yeah, it's, it's totally EGAD from Luigi's Mansion. Zuku Zuku, waka waka. Where do I go now? Good. <laughs> Oh. Fuck you, Drake. I'm the real climber. Uh, over here. Oh shit! Do it, circus cat. Oh, I gotta push it. That works too, I guess. Ugh. I would love to see a real cat do this. This is the world's smartest cat. This is an actual super cat. Do you think that cats in the future like this one are going to be as smart as this? I doubt it. <laughs> cats still do stupid shit. Funny enough, uh, uh, four nights ago, uh, Alma was sleeping in my room and it was about one o'clock at night. And uh, there was a ruckus outside on the front, which is near my skylight. And my skylight was closed. What did Alma do? She re she was so curious to see what happened that she actually jumped up to the skylight because she thought it was open and she smacked her face into it. And what did she do again? She jumped at it again. Even after she went face first into pure glass. And I'm like, Alma, what the fuck are you doing, you stupid bedend? Like, she was too curious for her own good. And there was a big old fight going on outside as well. She's like, I want a piece. I want a piece. Me, me, me. And she ended up knocking her face like half the time. Like, I love her, but Jesus Christ. Like she actually went, bam. And then she stopped for a little bit. Looked at it and then went, bam, again. Like, she's not going to work the second time, is it? Oh, dear. So yeah, I can't see Alan doing anything like this at all. This is definitely a breed of super cat. Alma, you lovable idiot. Yeah, dunder header. Hmm. Don't know these webs. That means there are head crabs nearby. Oh fuck, look at this suspicious place! Fuck that! They're gonna come out of the absolute walls if I do this. Alright, I need to think of a plan. Let me see. Uh, I gotta jump on the fence. I think I can jump up there and get on that crane. We should be alright. Oh, I knew that'd happen! I knew it! I'm not an idiot! Oh no! Oh, okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I knew you like that one, Jerry and Nick. <laughs> if I open this, I'm dead. Can I maybe get the robot to do it from here? Down. 
guess not. <laughs> I think I can jump over there. Oh, fuck you, game. Oh, the way the fence shakes as well. Puzzles? In my relaxing cat game? That wasn't part of the deal. This is not relaxing. This is very stressful. Can I, is there like a switch I can do on the other side? Maybe I could block it with something. Am I thinking too hard about this? I'm probably thinking too hard about this. If I do that, I'm dead. Okay. That's why I need to go. So, uh, hmm. oh, I know what to do. I know exactly what to do, actually. But I gotta run. I gotta fucking run. Oh! No! Oh, go run! Oh, we go. Yeah, I, I was thinking about it too hard. There we go. Okay. I will spend uh, as much time as I like on these puzzles. If it means that the cat doesn't die. I will take all forms of abuse in the chat for taking too long. You can't stop me. Anything for this kitty to survive. I need to make sure the plan is flawless. Save. Oh, fuck that. Alright. How are we going to figure this out? Oh. This game's about taking your time and just enjoy hanging out. Fuck this. I'm stressed as fuck. Oh, they're not head crabs. Bah! Oh, oopsie daisies. They look like them, though. Look at them. Nah. You never know. Don't want to spam the soundboard. Even though I've sp I found one too many opportunities to use it. Nice. We good. Oh my god! Fuck this! What is this Last of Us horse shit? sound persona only oh god <laughs> misreading all these damn signs looks like it says persona only on that sign I can't just be me surely no shimigumi tensei allowed Fuck off. I'm gonna have to Lego over there, I think. It's the only way. Okay. Oh, there are crabs there too. Now! Meow! 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 Ha ha! Meow! Mobo Bobo! Huh! Alright. Oh, you bitches. Oi. Oi. Over here. Go, 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 
down there, maybe? Oh, I can see them. I see it. Oh, shit. Uh, I need a drink. Oh, I want to go back to a town. This is scary. Right, let me think this through. Okay. There's a gate that literally releases the hounds. Oh, I don't know what to do. I gotta release him from that side and run around here. You missed in your white? Go play it! Go destroy our schools if you haven't already. Go 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 You finished it. Cool. Was the finale cool? I'm still like chapter seven in that game. I gotta get on with it. Oh my god! Are they dying? Yes! They're fucking dead! How did they die? Not that I'm complaining. Oh. Fanai was nice, but no ODs. I hope it ended like all of my favorite Toonami enemies. Because that's basically the whole vibe of Neon White. Okay. Is that another headcrab? Oh, there's still something alive. They sound like more smaller, evil, crustacean, alien-like cats. Okay, I can't come over the gate. Oh, don't tell me. I do, don't I? Haha! So long, fuckers! I win! Cat wins it? Oh shit. Uh, what am I supposed to do about this? Fight the king head crab here. Hmm. Oh, what's that do? Yeah. That's coming down very slowly. Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck that noise! Fuck that noise! Bro! Faster! Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Go on, little kitty cat! Come on! Go faster! No! <laughs> Come on! Oh, the door's not opening! Fuck this shit! Ah! Uh, no! Come on! Open! Open! No! No! Go! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at these little fuckers! Where's the hiss button? God, what was that Resident Evil 4? Shit! Where's my rocket launcher? Their right hands come off. Is this now what do I do now I'm trapped now I'm a trapped little kitty oh wait someone left this up here yeah okay we're out of the Resident Evil zone good we did it we beat Half-Life 3 I can't believe it 
Gabe made an absolute last masterpiece. Uh, what do I need for this? Transceiver. Ah, here we go. Cool city. Look at this dystopia. Eee, buck a zip line. This will scare the shit out of any other real cat. Look, the view, it's beautiful from here. I remember now the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only the lights marking the hermetic roof scene of the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. Skill issue. Us cats can still live there. Well, if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Hey. Absolute skill issue. You know if a cat could talk, that's a me what they would say. They would mock the shit out of us human beings. Ha! You have to go to a toilet to shit? You suck. I could just do this on the sh on the floor. Stupid idiots. Also feed me and give me tummy rubs. The slums part two. Look at that. I'm gonna sneeze on the stream. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh. I can't let my mother why I actually scream before I do the chew sound. I'm sorry, excuse me. Look, I know. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. Oh, thanks, chat. Sorry. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come to meet me there. Eee, the bar. I've got the window, but the code open is quite simple. It is. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go! Alright. I have no idea what they just said. Oh dear. Let's try that again. And man, it was O oh, or was it zero? Oh, the, the eternal struggle. Let's see. Success! It worked! Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Sweet. And the bar was a bit lower down here. It'd be nice if cats were... Actually, what am I saying? Of course cats can be bar animals. You go to places abroad like Spain and Greece and there are cats literally all over restaurants doing their own thing. I know people bring their dogs more often than not to pubs and stuff. But I've never been to a bar where a cat is just hanging out. So you just restaurants for you know, obvious reasons. They want your food and they want to piss off. This game makes you tired. Hey, that's a good thing. I'm glad someone's relaxed. This is the most stressful play that I've streamed. Because if anything happens to this cat, I'm ending it. I'm ending the series. But no death run starts now.
The dead EU freak of Reese got a cat. Aww. Yeah, dogs are a lot more popular here in the UK than cats are. I think cats are pretty popular in the United States. I know they're really popular in countries abroad. Again, like Greece and Spain. But not so much in the UK. Don't really see a lot of people with a lot of cats. I love the pit of power. Oh, his little toe beans hitting the ground as it runs there. So cute. Crump Crumble is such an adorable name for a cat. That is a good name, Leah. Crumble is adorable. Wait, oh, you didn't fall over. Ow. Hold on. There we go. Chat, laugh at this user. RIP! <laughs> oh, RIP humans love heart. That's morbid as hell. It's mean, but I'm also a cat, which means that I don't suffer any consequences for it. Ah, there's the bar. Hey, what's up, Momo? Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Can I trip him over? Damn it. I lost my chance. Oh, look at him do the edge lore pose. Look at him do the bloody, um, what's his name? Um, the end, what's, I forgot his name now. The dude from Elden Ring. The guy who gives you the Jojo pose. The robot version of him. He needs a skull on his TV screen or something. Hey, look who's here! Look who's here! It's our little feline friend! Hey, hey, hey! Ah, look who's here! Give you a little, get you a little dish of milk. There you go. One milk for a little key. Thank you, Jacob. Oh man, I wish it was like that. Give me your finest milk. Oh. You mean Edge, Lord? Oh, got a little stool. That's so cute. Oh. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Do not plant those horrible thoughts in my mind, Shaw King. That is not going to happen. If it does, I'm ending this series before the credits even hit. Fuck that. That would make me cry my eyes out. I hope that doesn't happen. I've almost got it. Hello! Can you want to hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zabaltazar? That's a mouthful and a half. You got Doc, Momo, and then Zabaltazar, Lord of the Undead. And Momo, psh. I can't believe I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zabaltazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, psh, we are safe. Psh, we found our way up. Psh. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh, very dangerous. Psh, Zerks. Oh. No. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. Can't believe it's about us or is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go out through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabaltazar made it, there must be a way. Oh, don't look at me like that. Yeah, <laughs> look at him do this demand spread. He, I know this seal at the back of my hand. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. May try their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. You know, I just went out of my way to talk to you. Seamus. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerg. Oh my god, give this cat a gun! Give this cat a magic ray gun, please! 
Dogs with guns are threatening. Cats with guns? They won't fucking hesitate, mate. A few years ago, we went off to test a device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus, he's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, Matt started taking the Johnny Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a crew in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. It's time to gear up and be sea cat. The C stands for, uh, I can't think of a gun that begins the word C. Carbine! Carbine cat! There we go. That was dumb, but I'm sticking by it, damn it. Can I trip you over just for funsies? Oh, no footprints, immersion wound. Oh no, he's untrippable. Fair enough. I do like his flamingo coat though. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that's to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He wouldn't help me. But you. I think I have an idea. Can I just be a cat? And he'll give me a gun? If I had a gun, I'd definitely give it to Alma. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Next stream is just going to be, the overlay will just be Alma with a gun in each picture. Gain your item, Doc's notebook. Contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electro shock. Find the secret lab little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to re-establish communication with the others. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, it was free, yeah? Let's have a look. This one seems to belong to someone named. It's a research like a combiner spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to warn the Zerks the way out. If your attempt was explosive, I might have to test it under real conditions. Uh huh. Give the notebook to Seamus in his flat. Sure, we'll find this weapon that his father was working on. Gotcha. Alma jewel wielding, it's meant to be. Oh, no way, sure, Kim. Thanks for stopping by live, mate. Yeah, the VOD will be uploaded as soon as possible for you. We're doing it! I told you, get for the sewers is a suicide mission. They may be. Hey, I just feed me and give me pets. I'm a cat. You know. But also, this. What's this? Wait, it's my papa's. Oh, wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure I have the thing for that. Secret lab right under my nose. Maybe there are clues in somewhere around here. Alright, investigate. This Phoenix are right, this shit. Do, 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 do. How would Holly like death the kid? She absolutely would. Like the trigger wouldn't even be in her mouth. It would just be the handle sticking out of it. Oh, that must be um, his dad. And I just ruined it. Oh! Time will tell. Oh my god. Imagine a cat just doing this to all the pictures in your house. Oh, so there's a code here. No, no, it's a digital code before. How did I miss it? Because you're neat. If you were a nerd who just lounged about and just made a mess, then your room would be full of secrets. I have no idea what the password could be. But what about this thing here? Would that help us? 
I'm a cat, I can't press buttons. Seamus' voice reminds me of Peppy's light up voice in Star Fox. Hopefully his voice doesn't sound like the real Peppy. Yeah. Ah, Peppy's alright. It's Slippy that is the one that no one likes here. Yeah. Hmm, what could that code be? Oh, there's this thing here. Time will tell. Oh, I get it! There's some time of the essence bullshit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that shit. Let me see. Uh, 16? What the fuck? What the hell is time flow down here? That's fucked up. Okay, uh, 2511. 2511. They get four extra hours of the day down here? Mate. I wish time flowed like that down here. The amount of extra work I'd get done if there were four extra hours in the day. Grind, I get a severe lack of sleep, but who the fuck cares when you're getting shit done? God, I would give, I would absolutely, I would murder for four extra hours in the day, mate. Oh, that's, that's terrifying. I can't look over and kill it, shame. Observations. Cute sounds, are you mad? Old bacteria of human time eat all kinds of materials. Total vision of the dark. React to the intense light. Uh, procrastinate more exactly. Give more people time to have breaks and relax and recharge. Especially in this fucking climate. I like the music box music. You know, it sounds more techno. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was work in theory, but I needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Oh, absolutely, Nick. Yeah, you're, you're on the board that one. Absolutely, it sounds like a portal soundtrack. Like, imagine GLaDOS just telling you how much of a horrible person you are, and then, yeah, she'd fit right in. Yeah. Flashlight, yeah, I imagine the UV light that we get will probably be added to the light that we've already got. Once we've got this weapon. Zerks are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal! Roar! Sounds like a tagline for an action figure. <laughs> Don't mind me, just being a cat. I'm sure this isn't made by Valve. Find anything interesting here? Did this hat just wig out? Or am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. Oh, there's another one up there. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Cabo, welcome back. Hope you walk with your dog was fun. Yo, found something cool. Well, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't my papa might still be alive. I miss him so much. You need a weapon for berserks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Oh, okay. Shame it's not just a gun that I can put in my mouth. But still. UV torch does sound pretty cool. He rolled around a lot, duh, as doggies do. Thank you, Seamus. Right, who have I got to get to? Uh, let me think. Uh, 
Uh, there was a vendor nearby. I don't think it was you. The tracker. Don't know anything about the high tech stuff. Try the bar. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Momo could maybe fix that. The way. How about you, Teddy? Grandma made me this scarf. Is it wonderful? She did so well. Oh yeah, Grandma. Recognize Grandma Star. She's very talented, you know. The track is in bad shape. Bartender might help you find someone who can fix that. Sweet. Whee! Meow, more milk. Just for some drink. Yes, I am. Oh, I pressed meow. And I quit out my arms. There we go. Well, beautiful object and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little. Well, you'll see. Yeah, the poncho's not for us. It's for one of the robots. Shame, I know. Here we were, thinking like a cat, where we thought everything made was for us. But apparently not. Shame. The name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Cool. Big zad. Alright, Elliot, you right. And he's near where Grandma is. And Grandma is around here. It's not you, is it? Oh no, you are Grandma. Oops. I need, I need to... I need to make you mine. There you go. You're my child now. Said tracker. Uh, Bartman, idiot programming. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe that's yeah. I think it's through here. I think. I hope. Hello. I'm not idiot, are you? Oh god, don't talk to me how time is blending in. I get that enough already in real life. Especially those late shifts. Oh boy. Did I find all the vending machines? I got enough stuff to trade for the items in. Where's this area place? Oh no. More terrible navigation live on Twitch TV. Oh, even with this cooler weather, I'm still sweating. I gotta take my shirt off again. I tell you what, playing Elden Ring yesterday with Ben was not fun. Not game wise, I mean that it was like the worst working conditions you could ever think of on a hot summer's day. All the windows had to be closed, it was 35 degrees. And I couldn't have any fans on. It was the fucking worst recording session I've ever had. It was awful. You could tell by about like part six, part seven of the recording session that we were absolutely done and totaled. Luckily, not a lot of interesting stuff happened in the last episode, but fucking hell, yeah, you could tell that it took a toll on us. It was not fun. Gonna Yakuza out? Absolutely. Shirts off already. Oh, cheers, Jerry. I don't know either, mate. As a human being, sometimes you just adapt to these things automatically without realizing it. And then the morning shifts hit, and then your internal clock is completely turned around. So, yeah. Not sure I've got an answer for you there, unfortunately. Anyway, I need to go find this idiot bloke. And soft ones are weird. 
Rip humans. The bartender said it was near where grandma was. Maybe I just got a scratch at a certain door. Corey. And, oh, I don't know who you are. Guap. You know where Elliot is? Go see Elliot. Just scratch my door on your right. Oh! This is Elliot's? Nice. Nice. Uh, I think it's cool that NPCs say uh, really helpful things depending on where you are. Like the guy was like, oh yeah, Elliot, he's literally right there. Like, thanks. If that was any other NPC, that'd be repeated dialogue or something. Like, go see Elliot. Okay, but where is Elliot? And that guy's like, yeah, he's right over there. So that's nice of them. Oh, <laughs> I was talking for too long and he slammed the door on me. Yeah, cheers, Jay. It might be a while, but it's nice to get the ball rolling. I've got to change about... 10 different CVs for like 10 different things. I'm actually not even sure what I even want to do, but you know, that's the thrill of it. That's the thrill of just launching yourselves into the wide open real world. As fun as that might sound, may sound to a lot of people, it's not fun, but you know, sometimes it's necessary. We are programmed to be slaves, but since, oh my god, we have a soul. I hope one day the outsiders will finally exit this hell. Momo. Oh, it's Momo. Anyway, you're Nesta. Hello. It is a hypochondriac? Not many of those anymore. They got passed down from our ancestors. If you want to go back to work, you better bring him some cloth. That will be. Ah! Cloth, eh? In fact, I think I've been here before. Aha! I have been here before. Hello. Yes, can I help you? Poncho. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try on. Nice. Ah. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you need anything fixed. Speaking of. Fix this so I can use a gun. Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a, a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update. One more thing and voila! Get a new item. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Sweet! Alright. Had to Seamus and we're good. Have you met before? You're different. With all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. We should go visit the Barterman. There's something for everyone over there. Is there something for me? Has he got new stuff, maybe? New stock? Oh! Why not get that? Music sheet, a masterful piece of art for a very renowned artist. Of course, you want to drink can. Can't do this. Oh, yeah, I still gotta get these uh, sheet musics. I completely forgot about those, actually. That means I've got to find a vending machine. Oh, boy. I don't know if there's like, one on the rooftops or anything like that. I might not even get everything in this game, to be honest, because it requires. Ugh! Exploration! Anything but. Sometimes I feel the comedic timing of these buttons diminishes when I take too long to press them. I don't know about you lot. Oh, I got the cable from you. Before I get to the rooftops from here, yeah. Oh, hello. Secrets. One of them is really tucked away. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, the simple AI merely imitated human art. 
Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. Like fighting the power. These are so desperate times. You'd know this entire area would be flooded with graffiti. If it were up to people. If the soft ones were still living about. Yeah, I'm not one for 100% in games on stream either. Like, in the post game for Chrono Trigger, while it does sound pretty awesome, uh, it got to the point where I just want to, like, you know, cover another game. Especially because there are a lot that I want to cover. And I can't wait for when the SMT Fire stream starts. That's just going to be a, a non cat version of this commentary right now. Like, I'm going to be going, oh, dark, so it's going to be relentless fanboy first instead. So, I hope you're looking forward to that. I do recall seeing some vending machines up on the rooftops. Hello. Oh, I already got it. Shame. I'm not talking about the Teddy Tubbies. Did you have work that day? Hope to see you there. Hey, see you then, Cabal. Looking forward to it. God, now that I've spoken of Chrono Trigger, all the music is stuck in my head. Sometimes I feel like a, good, a boss music should play when you've got one more item left during expiration in an open world game. Just to really highlight the tensity of trying to find the very last thing that isn't marked on your map. Or just paint the background, that works too. I did that all the time back in my, uh, back in my PS3 days. Back when I played games like Infamous, and I had to find that one last fucking shard. I remember just putting on my own playlist, because I was like, I can't just walk about in pure city sound silence. Like, I need some tense music to motivate me. Otherwise, it ain't happening. Hey, Bigsby. Hello, Frenchman who loves your videos. Hey, cheers, dude. Greetings from the UK. Thanks for stopping by, man. Oh, I'd love to drop a pot on someone's head. What do you see? I thought I said swag, swagito for a second. I could name those lights like real constellations. The big circle, the big ball, no, no, he needs more brain the, the big circle, I'm pretty sure he's referring to the Big Dipper. That's quite funny. Hello you, what do you want? Uh... Music? Music sheet, they're playing instrument. Oh, okay. Oh god, I couldn't imagine the pain in Breath of the Wild when you've got to find more stuff. 199 shrines, god. At least it weren't Korok seeds. That's some real bravery getting all of those bloody things. I only found like five in my first playthrough. <laughs> I didn't exactly go out of my way to find them. I'll say that much. Swagito would be a name too good to be true. Yeah, at least Rashars reward you more energy. So, there was a benefit to finding them. Oh no, I remember enjoying Infamous quite a fair bit. I think that's the thing with open world games. As long as the stuff that you find is rewarding in some essence of the word, then you're, you're alright. But it's got to be a good reward. I think Korok Seeds were a pretty decent reward. But from what I remember... I remember that the rewards get further and further and further between, depending on what number you get. Like, you get, like, a nice little present where you get 10. And then it goes, you get your next present 20, and then 30, and then 1,000. Good luck. You get your next reward on 1,000. Or something like that. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I played Breath of the Wild. I can't find this vending machine. Fuck it. Let's go back to Seamus. Oh, you seriously never played the PS4 games? They were a good time. 
I don't think one has aged very well, but I think two is pretty alright. It's basically X-Men. If you're a fan of X-Men, then absolutely get on Infamous. Shame the Seamus. That's a good title. Where is he again? Discovered you thanks to Danga Rompa and I spent a long time burst out laughing thanks to you. Ah, no worries, man. Glad you enjoyed the series. That was a fun slash very painful time, Danga Rompa. Is this his place? Yeah, I think this is spot. Yo, Seamus, what's up? I'm a cat. Ugh. Give me Betty Robs. Did you manage to fix that tracker? Hey, yo. You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. Please. Just because I'm a cat doesn't mean that I don't know what manners are. I thought that was a rifle he was holding for a second. My mind has been tainted by video games. He was even holding it like a gun. I'm sorry. When do I get a gun in this game? We got a ping! One ping! Yeah! Now I can play my Persona 4 Arena game in 20 frames of delay. I can't wait. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Yeah, we mentioned it, Catball. And we were talking about how much more time we would have to do stuff in the day if we had four more extra hours. It would just be procrastinate. Let's be real here. <laughs> also, I love the soundtrack for this game. I hope there's a three hour lo fi playlist of just this game's soundtrack. Oh, what am I saying? Of course there is. Did I just quote Skyrim? I think I just did. Didn't YouTube at some point block that really popular lo-fi playlist? The one with the thumbnail of the girl? doing like a homework or listening to the headphones. I heard something about that. This must be it, he really left the slums. The streaming- oh it was a stream was it? Oh I thought it was just a really long video, fair enough. It was taken down. Bastards. YouTube is why we can't have nice things. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Right, before we do this, I'm gonna give you guys some points. Oops. There you go. Let's do this fang. I'm pour myself another drink. Watch him get immediately assaulted by hair crabs. I'm scared. Oh my god, look at that. It's literally a path into hell. And a cat's like, ooh! God, no. Alright, time for the horror segment of Stray. Yes, Stray is a horror game. If you're a cat lover, this is high key of a horror game. There, I said it. At least I've got bait. I've got a human shield on me. And by human, I mean robot shield. Don't go too far! I'm pouring a drink for myself! You fool, stay there! Oh, the cat sits down when you're idle. Cute. Look at being a cat. Hello. No. I don't like that, it's quiet. Oh, fuck this. This, is gonna, this game is scarier than any game I'm going to play in October. 
If I had known that the cat could potentially die in this game, I would have absolutely put it on top spot for horror streams. I'm not even joking. This is actually terrifying. We could be Zerg eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this shit, man. Game over. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Okay, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you are a friend. <laughs> it looks like a very sad emoji. I can't be the only one who can see you that, surely. I'll open the door for you. Protect my music sheets. The music sheet? They're punishment. No! If you had started the Halloween streams with this, I clap for creativity. Oh, if only I knew beforehand. Hmm. Alright, here we go. I do love the lion in this game. This game's got some fantastic lion. Alright, the atmosphere is top notch. And it really feels a more bigger because you're playing as a little kitty cat. Oh look, there's a badge. I just noticed that. Look. It's on the side. That's cute. Hey, we've got Peter Plop. How's it going? I'm slow walking because I'm scared. Ooh, memory. <laughs> Look how huge this wall is. It's a big old dam. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. This is basically just that slum area in Arcane. What a horrible thing to do. Yeah, that's why they failed. Uh oh, the misery. Bah, 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 bah. My enemy! My enemy! Bah, bah, bah. So much lore. It's going, ah! Is that ah as in excited or ah as in you're in much pain? Hopefully, it's the former. Dead end. That's threatening, considering what I'm playing as. Oh man, look at this level. This is a cool ass level. Again, this level feels like uh, it's made for a humanoid video game character. And you're just playing as a cat in that said level. Oh, piss. Oh, I don't know, I've got to run down there. Okay, chat, this is it. Oh no. Here we go. Oh. Jump. Run. Climb. Bridge cross. Go downstairs. Avoid horrible hair crabs of death. Jump again. Keep going. Oh, fuck this. Oh. Oh my god. This is a real life cat. They'd be dead by now. Ah, oh, no. <sighs> Keep going, 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 Again, never results in a few days. Oh, good luck, man. I'm sure it went well for you. Oh. Can't take water. Don't go in the drink. Oh. Go the other way. Oh, I want to. Also, that is. I thought that was moss for a second, then I realized where we are. <laughs> Actual toxic waste. Shit. Oh man. I feel so bad for this little cat. This cat's got the biggest bollocks in the world. It's, it's definitely not a girl because these little kitty nuts would be covering the screen right now if that was a bloke. This is definitely a female cat.
Miyazaki, you did it again. <laughs> hey, Crow, you're all right. You're definitely watching this segment of the game. How's it going, mate? Old oh, peace, I can ride in the trolley. Yo, let's go! Oh my god, this is awesome! Yeah! Justice! Oh! Oh no, Kika! Oh, come on, get up. Are you okay? Oh. Thank god. I just hate seeing cats get hurt. It's the worst thing in the world. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. No! Don't sif! Oh no! Oh, come on, please heal. Oh, thank fuck. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh no! You okay now, yeah? Yeah, magic tongue, let's go! Yes! Sit on it! Just sit on it and lick on it, and you're alright. Oh, thank God for that. From there? From there. You got some stuff to organize her tomorrow. Oh, good luck, mate. Hope the packings go well for you, too. Good luck to you on that. Take care, dude. Still traumatized by Sif's limping? Absolutely. What Dark Souls player worth his soul isn't? That scene was horrible. <laughs> that limp is such a punch to the face. Sif is the big doggo boss and you will never forget. Hmm. Yeah. Cool up. Reminds me of Hello Kitty art. Speaking of Hello Kitty, me and Sarah drove up to Brighton uh, about a couple of weeks ago, and there was a Hello Kitty cafe in Brighton. Didn't unfortunately didn't go in there, but it was surprisingly busy. There were a lot of people in there. Because the people in Brighton are fucking cool. There was the merchandise in there. All the tables were blue and flashy. You had the Hello Kitty on the front of like on the on the glass in the windows. I don't know what kind of food or drinks they serve in there, but one day me and Sarah will probably find out because we were mildly interested by it. I'm back, chat. Hello, chat. I'm Dad. I'm Joe. Welcome to the chat. Chat. <laughs> Nick, have you been to a Hello Kitty cafe before? I was just talking about it. We saw one in Brighton. And it was surprisingly packed out. Ah, oh, I need a fuse. But I'm a cat, so there's no way I'd figure this shit out. No way. No. No! Can I ride the bicycle as a cat? No. Oh. Vending machine. Shit. It's empty. Went to a cat cafe when you was... You've been to a cat... Oh, sh shocker. I've never actually been to a cat cafe. I should. I really should. I'd love to go to a cat cafe. What is it like, I mean? I imagine it was, uh, for the cats. <laughs> you got a fucking owl cafe? Holy fuck, I wanna go to owl cafe. Owls are fucking radical. Oh, mate. You tell me you go inside a cafe and... You order, like, an Americano, and about 10 hours are staring you down from the darkness. That sounds like my sort of jam. That sounds awesome. Dude, I love owls. Owls are awesome. Owls are so cool. I wish I had an owl. Oh, that looks like death. Don't go down there. No death runs going well. Is 
Send me to Brazil just for the Owl Cafe, alright? Oh. The filter got very, 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 very sepia like, I guess. Oh, fuck this shit. I feel like a man with a gun would be better suited going down here. You can stroke owls? And they're okay with that? They're all just super tame. How many owls they got in there? That sounds awesome. I would have thought that owls wouldn't like being touched by humans. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit chat. Look. There it is. There it is. With a legend sat himself. Damn, I do not have a soundbite for that. So, uh... Uh... I guess I'll just press this instead because he knows what it is. He knows what it is. Hey, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Get the Marvel's cat on for your sound bit for next time. You had that? Nah, it was in game, bro. Why is a floor pulsating? Because this is secretly a Resident Evil game in disguise. That's why. Ooh. Eee. What the fuck? Are those albino head crabs? That's terrifying. Ooh. Yo, wield the knife! Oh, come on, wield the fucking knife! Please, please! Oh, come on! Oh, that, that's, that deducts a point, I'm sorry. You can't just give me a knife and not let me hold it in my mouth. Come on. If a crab can do it, a cat can do it. That's, oh, that's, that's upsetting, mate. Shame. That leads to the cage, doesn't it? Oh, thank god it doesn't. I was gonna say, I probably gotta nick the fuse from this place and then bring it back. Ah. You must be Seamus' dad. Ha 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 ha! Oh, I'm a cat and there's nothing you can do about it. Wait, you're not a Zerk? Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy! I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. Wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I've no idea how to escape this place. It's gonna ruin your last work, don't mind me. Three hours in the cafe are very domesticated, so you can pet them. That's awesome. I'd love to stroke an L. Funny thing, uh, we, us in the UK, because we're weirdos, we call it stroke. Whereas everyone else calls it pet. I mean, technically you are stroking them. I mean, pet's more like the name uh, of the animal that you're getting, right? They're your pet. So, how does it mean when you pet them? I don't know. I see humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. If I ever said that I'm stroking my cat in the Discord, you can tell, I can bet you anything that everyone in the Discord would be like, EW! Ha ha! Stroke! Ha ha ha! Dirty comment 101. Probably. Oh, our Discord's filthy. And very predictable. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt more alive with them. Yeah, pretty much, Crow. Bathroom and restroom. I mean, you don't rest in the room, you take a shit, but, you know. 
The streets felt much more alive with them. That's the only different term from us uh, that I will contend with. Cultural difference aside, it's not a restroom. Widows. Even the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Elevator lift. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Ah, oh, another empty vending machine. Damn it. That's adorable. This animation alone is just so cute. Look! It's so minimalistic. It's just beep. It's just pet. Oh man. I love it when cats pat stuff. Just pressing the button. Look, I'm pressing the button. There's a key. I love seeing cats interact with human stuff. I love it. Like, sometimes I'll be watching TV and Alma will see, like, as soon as an action scene happens, like, I'm watching John Wick or some shit, and a fire scene breaks out, like, Alma is immediately intoxicated by the screen. She's like, oh, oh, look at this cool stuff happening. Oh, my God. <laughs> Love it. Uh, 20 cat owners in the chat right now. Do any of your cats react to seeing a cat on TV? Mine does not. That's a gun! It's the megaphone from Ultra Despair Girls. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. But full charge it. At full charge, it can explode Zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here that can't juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is, I would start. I think a fuse blew. With all the Zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go and fix it. Paradise! Dance? Oh, good. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you're going to reach your generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the deflux. So give me that knife and I can be your genocide cat. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. I can be your genocide cat. Just give me the knife. Let me wield that shit. That shit would be awesome. Oh. Fine, I'll use my claws instead. What would your cat put if he got your sound box? Uh, my cat would probably just put smoke weed every day. To be honest. Meow. Sometimes they get scared when they hear the audio of cats. When Emma was a kitten, she used to get spooked out by home reflection bliss. Now she sees it and she's at me. Alma just does not give a fuck anymore. And she's only in her teen years. She's at that point where if you call her name, she'll just ignore you half the time. And she'll only sleep on you or rest in your lap when if, if she deems it fit. Just like any other regular cat. She's definitely in her goth phase. Oh god, I can't believe I just said my cat's in its goth phase. I feel bad for saying that. Please pretend I didn't say that. My cat does the rock eyebrow in the mirror. <laughs> was it drink energy drinks as well, by any chance? I hope we test on you, little bastards. The Otatus Fuse is brand new. Eee. Turn on the generator will be loud, so expect some- Oh, Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change your fuse, and then meet me back here without dying. Best of luck. Oh, Alright. She's absolutely a little gremlin. Bless her. Alright, hopefully it's just a nice quick run back. Yeah, it doesn't look so bad. Oh, how much do you bet they're going to come from this bit and I've got to run around like down this area or some shit? 
I bet they do. I bet you anything. I'll bet you 500 points, chat. And by bet, I mean I'll give you 500 points if I'm wrong, so it's not really a bet, but still. Yeah, it's going to be one of these entrances. Okay. But this one in particular. Okay. Here we go. Looks like a big swig of rum before I do this. It goes nothing. Dance. Paralyze. Knock back. Oh shit! Yo, that's cool. Come on, my ass, fam. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh fuck. Stay in the light. Ah, oh, no! Stay in the light! Kill him for me. Kill him for me. Your bro killed him. Yes! Oh, uh, this way. I choose to go this way. Oh, fuck! I choose to go the other way! Choose to go the other way! <laughs> Yo! Yo, that was awesome. Yeah, boy! Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount it to fuck Yes, sir. It's the squad. A robot and his cat with a death ray. You made the right choice to give it to your furry overlord. It worked! The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it'll give function. Just remember it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming, coming home, son! How do I use it again? I need to help Doug get back to the slums with the defluxer now. Can I just murder these things in cold blood? Oh, okay. There they are, little fuckers. Alright, how are we doing this? Take all those zerks so we can get through. L1. Yes! Wow, it's working great, but as I suspected, it can overheat. Oh, they're cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last till we reach the village. That's alright. I've had a bunch of first person shooters. It's all good. If it was Ben doing this, I'd be worried. But me? I'll be fine. I have confidence. I've shot people before. It's all good. If this switch doesn't work, it looks like the electricity has been cut. In the game, right, Joe? Right? Sure. That's uh, that's definitely what I was implying. Oh, hello. I know what to do. Shit. Like I said, I know what to do. Try and trust that Ben right now. Unfortunately, he doesn't live here, so I can't threaten him 24/7. It is what it is. 
Would be to be the cat stand in this case. Oh man. What would its name be? Besides B12 if it was a stand. <laughs> Cats on my kitty cat and I dance, 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 dance. That's not the title of the song. I actually don't know what the title of that song actually is. Oh, Cats in the Cradle by Ugly Kid Joe. Absolutely, it would be Cats in the Cradle. That would be the name of the stand. In the cats, in the cradle, and the silver spoon. In the bar, and the man, and the moon. <laughs> right? It's not bad. Alright, what we got? Katsu in the cradle! Bzzz. <laughs> yeah. Now we're rear as an evening. Come on, you fuckers. Where are you? There we go. Cats in the cradle! Yeah! There we go. Awesome. Hey, Calibian. Welcome to the chat. Stream even. Welcome to the stream and chat. You doing alright? We need Ben 10 now, Ben 12 is coming up. This is Resident Evil, there'll be a greenhouse. Oh, you know there will be. <laughs> can you imagine your Ben, that kind of shirt? Yeah, I can. But some monsters, it'll just be Keyblade forms. Oh, yeah. God, speaking of Kingdom Hearts talk, there goes Dan with the Heartless comparison. Damn it. <laughs> we had a hive mind for a second there. Did that thing just die? I think it did. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yo, that's grim. You're welcome. This cat just saved your life. Oh, right. He's mashing the button. <laughs> oh, there's one left. There's one left. Go ahead, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Come on, they actually just blow up. That's grim. That was close. Let's go back home. Doc is our Ashley. Oh my god. Cats in the cradle! Help! <laughs> I can't just stuff a yellow herb down her throat. And by yellow, I mean just a single green. And you gotta leave her on yellow HP for the rest of the game. Maybe if I go underneath him, he'll call me a pervert. Oh, you pervert. What's up? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. That's super sweet, actually. Kitty did a good thing. Now worship me. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Oh shit. Sewers, eh? Alright. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Fuck yeah, we did. Those two are a big Back to the Future reference. Great Scott, you're fucking right! How'd I not notice? Yeah, absolutely! 
It's for Doc and Martin McFly. Absolutely, it's the exact same attire. I did not notice that until now. Holy shit. Yeah, oh my god. Good find, Nick. I actually would not have noticed that. Shit. That is actually a really cool reference. I tell you, what's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy. You know my son, Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from the damn place. Yeah, sure. So happy he's back. That is awesome. Now, where's that arsehole of goodies in? I forgot his name now. What a great Rick and Morty reference that is. This is really impressive, Doc. Nobody had survived that long in the Dead City. So you survived the Zerks after all. Do you have the 10 cans you owe me? Oh, not all these vending machines you don't. Oh, did you meet that weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking around. I'm here, I'm a cat! Don't talk to them, talk to me! Give me Betty Robs! Look at me, I'm a kitty cat! Now dance, 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 dance. Meow! Give me attention! Oh, okay. He also said the thing need 1.21 gigawatts of power to use. Oh, really? That's cute. Yeah, that's actually a very blatant reference I didn't realize until now. That's awesome. That's actually a really cute reference. The exact same clothes and the exact same amount of Google Watts that he specifies in, in the film, I think. God, it's a shame because every single time I turn on TV, it's always Back to the Future 3 that's on. The weird Wild West one. Well, it's, it's not bad, but it's nowhere near as good as 1 and it's absolutely not the pinnacle we like 2 is. Like my favorite film ever. I know how you know that. Mm. Yeah, I remember in the. Uh, was it one or was it two where they had the car chase? I think it was two, wasn't it? I remember when we went to Hollywood in LA. We had uh, a Rasta bus tour. It was a, yeah, I know what it sounds like, but it's exactly what it sounds like. It was a Rastafarian uh, style tour bus. And it took us uh, around Bel Air. And it took us around uh, Beverly Hills. And it took us around to where the um, uh, where the Hollywood sign was. And there's a bridge down there. And, uh, uh, sorry, not a bridge, a tunnel. And that was the exact tunnel where they filmed that one scene, the car chase scene in uh, Back to the Future 2. That was pretty cool to see. I'm one of those weirdos who actually like two more than one. One is fantastic, but I thought two was amazing. And three was, yeah, three was alright. Need to go back now that I'm more versed in the, you know, the old film shit. Alright, okay. Uh, where have I got to go again? I forgot where I got to go. I was just aimlessly jumping around like the cat I was. <laughs> I need to go to the sewers. That's right. Where'd that be? It's gonna mark my territory. There we go. Two had the hoverboard scene. And two went far into the future where it actually is the same year now and it's it's nothing like it was in two. With the hover cars and stuff. And Jaws 9 still hasn't been made. Shame. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've watched anything to do with Back to the Future. Still, that is a that is a pucker reference. Look at that. Yeah, as soon as you mentioned it, I was like, oh god, yeah, you're completely right. Didn't notice at first, but as soon as you pointed out, yeah, there they are. It's Rick and Morty in the flesh. I can't believe it. Ah, there we go. Cool.
Yeah, 2015 was the year, wasn't it? No hoverboards, unfortunately. Imagine if all the robots have flowy. Oh god! Imagine if it was the horrible Toby Fox face during the flowy boss fight. God, that'd be horrific. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done anything you wanted in here? Can I close the door behind you? Don't want any Zerks coming through. Oh shit! This is putting no return. Fuck. Are we at the end of the game? Don't think we are. I feel like unless my exploration really is that abysmally bad. I don't think the game would end on 40% of things collected. Surely not. I might just hop around and see if I can actually find the vending machine because I feel like it. Meow. Yeah. Got no clue where it is though. I'm pretty sure that I've seen most vending machines. Nah, I, I think there's more after this. We, we probably can explore Midtown or something once we get to it, I think. Yeah, fuck it, let's go for it. Screw it. I got 100% of this game my own time, it's all good. I'm going in, boys. Welcome to Blight Town. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, we're gonna bow it out. Oh, cool. Looking forward to that. They do, Dan, unless they're cross code. Ben was on that series for ages, weren't he? How many streams did it take for him to be Chrono Trigger? Chrono Trigger? Fucking uh, uh, cross code. Cross code? Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger. Sorry, Chrono Trigger still fresh in the mind. Blood Ball Fishing Hamlet, don't get bored. Don't cross the streams. Don't shoot the fish. Oh, no memory in here. They've always, like, hard drives. Lee, my favourite Chrono Trigger protagonist. Hey, I know you'd kill to have Lee as an actual character in Chrono Trigger with a remove list. Don't say you wouldn't. Can't believe you found Doc and got rid of Fluxa. With this, now we can go find Zabeltzar. Let's go! But do I get to cover you with my laser gun while we're on the boat? The sewers. That'd be so hype. The balls that bounce off of the walls could like hit all enemies or something like that. Straight line stuff. Her normal attacks can just be the cool physical attacks that she does in the game. That'd be awesome actually, now that I think about it. How is that not a mod? Is Chrono Trigger even moddable on PC version? It must be, it's an old game. Or maybe that's why it isn't, who knows. Will we see Killer Croc in the sewers? Oh god! He'd be massive compared to this little cat. Imagine getting a game over against Bane as this cat, it just breaks your back. Oh god, that's horrible to think about. The cat is broken! Creepy. It is. Bane would actually be a cat lover. Is he canonically a cat lover? He definitely doesn't like Catwoman. Hmm, now what? 
I don't see any way to open this gate. Can you take a look on the other side? Ah, uh, uh, meow! Oh, that's right, I'm a cat! Locked doors mean nothing to me. Well, locked cages at least. It's a super raw game over screen. I think there's one where Hardy beats your face with a baseball bat too. I could be wrong. The eternal debate of who is a better voice actor for Hardy. Her old voice actress from the animated series or Tara Strong. Nothing up here. God, I wish that were me. Yeah, both bring their own little sort of blend to the character, don't they? I think the first one actually sounds sexier. More flirtatious. The second one sounds a lot more unhinged and childish. Which are definitely like separate, interesting, uh, and uh, definitely in character interpretations of Harley Quinn. Favorite Batman villain that is not Joker or Harley because too obvious. Ah, oh, Hush was fantastic in that one Hush comic that I read. Um. Oh, fuck! I liked Bane during his first appearance too because he's actually super smart and susses out who Bruce Wayne is instantly. A lot of villains' first appearances are usually their best, funny enough. Well, m most of them. What about my boy Calendar Man, though? Yeah, <laughs> can I get shout outs to the Calendar Man? I wonder who Scarecrow is. is. Uh, Penguin. Definitely Penguin. <laughs> Yeah, this cat's got some balls. This is a real cat. Being this close to a thing that's moving on water would scare them shit this. To the point where they'd actually probably jump in the water out of sheer fear and stupidity. I can see it happening. Nobody liking Riddler? Riddler's pretty cool. I love the, um... Okay, so I know a lot of people don't like the Gotham TV series, but honestly, R Riddler and the Penguin were a fucking gay icon in that series, and you can't tell me otherwise. I, mean, I liked Gotham because it was it was gothy, but it was it was campy like the comics were, like the old comics were. It had its charm to it, and Robin Lord Taylor the Penguin is absolute fucking chef's kiss. But you can't tell me otherwise. Oh, Nick, I'm sorry. I know it. It was such a cool build up from City. And then Knight is just like, hello, I'm here. Oh no, you fooled me. Oh no, you caught me. Like, nothing happens. Do you even press a button during that one segment? I can't even remember. The only cool thing about that part is that there's an Easter egg where uh, Lex Luthor is in the exact same room. And he's voiced by Kevin Silverstein, who voices uh, Shido from Persona 5. Which is great because whenever I read the comics of Lex Luthor in them, I always, always read them with Keith Silverstein's voice in them. 
So that was a really nice treat to actually hear Keith Silverstein voice Lex Luthor for a little tiny bit. And it made me wish, man, get Rockstar to work on a Superman open world game. And keep the rings. We all love the rings. Well, this old machine is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Yeah, there was a cool segment where you face him as Bruce Wayne. But it, the scene lasts for about, like, what, 10 seconds or something? It's it's super brief. The build-up was just, and the end, it was, like, lasted for so long after the city, and then, like, it had a really anti-climax. The tans and the core of ours. Oh my god, yeah, that one, um... Was it New 52 of Court of Owls? I think it was, weren't it? Yeah, I remember that scene where Batman's going through that hell maze. And um, the comic does a thing with its pages where it actually makes you feel like you're in the maze and you're suffering like Batman is. And it's really fucked up. i got to look at that again. I remember reading that on a plane ride and I was like, Jesus Christ, i got to put this down for a little bit. Like, this is some fucked shit. I'm going in. Can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way when you find Zabeltza uh, and Clementine. Told him I was brave. Oh, mate. Momo, you better survive. Oh, shit. I hope he lives. Washing machines. Oh, yeah. That makes me, that makes me want to read that book again now. And there was a pretty cool um, depiction of Joker in U52 as well. Was it Death in the Family? No, Death of the Family, where he wears his own face. And there's that one point where he's got the whole Batman family in that one room. Like Batman, the Robins. I think uh, Damien was in there too. Was Damien in there? I can't remember. And then game forward, that's right, yeah. He was in it half or so, yeah. I thought there was a bad character in that scene. How could I forget? Oh, I can't be free there. Shit. He's okay nowadays, but I still don't like him. Injustice didn't help matters either. Oh my god, Injustice. God, I just remembered the scene. Oh, that scene sucked. Sucked as in it was so tragic. If you guys know about that one scene that involved Damien Nightwing in the Injustice comics, fuck. That shit actually made me shed a tear, dude. That shit was so depressing. That looks dangerous. I'm going in. Have you seen- They animated that scene? Oh god no, I'm not watching that. That'll- You- Do you want me to die? Absolutely no, I'm not watching that animated. They ruined it? Oh, they even- They can't. How can you- How can you ruin that scene? That scene was perfect, as in it was horrible. Uh oh. Can I kill them in the room? Oh, I kind of can. Nice. I can't watch that. That scene actually made me shed a tear, dude. That my son is dead segment in the comics was just... That broke my heart in two. I had an actual Ralph Wiggum moment where you could actually see my heart split in two at the very second. That was awful. I hated Damien so much after that. Oh, that was unforgivable to me. Oh, 
Oh. Do you know what this reminds me of? You guys ever play a game called Resistance? It's an Insomniac game, funny enough. Same guys who did Ratchet and Clank and Spyro. This remind these remind me so much of the Clam era. With all the eggs and stuff in all these um confined spaces. Oh, thank God for that. Never played it. It was a good little series. It was first person. And um, it's definitely like it's like it's it's alien invasion. But it, it does some stuff pretty well. It's executed in a way where it does feel really creepy. And it's got some legitimately good scenes in it too. And also, it does the cool first person thing where you've got a health bar and not a one that regenerates Call of Duty style. Except for two. Two does that, and they realized that was a bad mistake and they brought back the health system in three. Our resistance is a pretty cool little first person series. So anyway, I start blasting. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's bleh. That's the kind of high that made me throw up in real life. I do like that how now 30% of the stream is just us talking about comics. How have I not covered it? <laughs> How I not covered a Batman game in this year, even though I've played them already, but still. Okay, now where do I go? Oh. Remember. Remember, remember. The sewer system. Yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. And the scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. This is basically what's going to happen to the UK because we're suffering a drought right now. They are huge and could contain a whole building in them. We still haven't left the UK yet. I can't believe we played Bloodborne and we didn't get the point of that game. Do a stream where you find all the Riddler trophies. Okay. Oh, you said night. No, that's not happening. <laughs> that's a series on its own. You'll be doing that. Fucking Godspeed, my friend. I did just in. I did all the missions just to give me that secret ending. And thank God, getting the trophies wasn't a requirement for that because they were. Those weren't fun. That's your very own Batman Arkham Knight lore on there. Read some of the older Marvel Transformers comics and I was terrified to see Megatron and Ratchet horrifically joined together. Ugh. You found all the really trophies in Asylum and City too. Yeah, I found them all in Asylum, but I got close in City and after that I was like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm tapping out on 100% I think. <laughs> Did you hear that squelch sound? Listen to that. Squelch ASMR. Close your eyes, chat. You ready? Three, two, one. Mmm. Anything I missed around here? Don't think so. I'm in the flesh room. Oh god. I can see them there. Yeah, a little bit, Nick. You got all like, the, the stringy shit inside of your carbon out. Ooh. Oh, no, that's where I came from. The door here. Let's go straight ahead.
You weird looking pumpkins. Now Nick's got a point. It does look like the inside of a pumpkin. You carve one out for Halloween and uh, it does get pretty stringy. Just uh, just without all the scabs of these places, that's all. Look at them watching. Look at them all. Look at them. Biopunk? Never actually watched or played Biopunk. I just don't know what Biopunk even is. Ah, oh, damn, got a bit closer. They jump on me, I swear to God. Okay, welcome to the shower room, ladies and gents. Here we go. Gotta do it in bursts. If you do it in bursts, we'll be alright. We got this sorted. In the cradle bracket and bracket is very small. Yeah, it's definitely a, a D in range, I would say. But packs a punch. It's definitely a power type stand. I'm so cool in the title of the stream, Cats in the Cradle. Oh, I can't not. Watch me get lore in this room and nothing else. I'm not complaining. Stray of a lore run. 100% would technically be a lore run, funny enough. The pussy galore run. That was a bad joke. Don't laugh at that. That was definitely a character in some form of fiction called Pussy Galore. I can't remember what that was from. Pussy Galore. There's definitely some of that name in something, but I can't remember where it was from. Was it from James Bond? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, Catboy, you're right. It was definitely a James Bond film. Fucking Pussy Galore. Like, you just couldn't make a, a Bond girl name any more blatant than Pussy Galore. Fucking hell. No, I think it was an Austin... Was it Austin Powers? It might have been Austin Powers. I, I can't remember. Nah, same thing, really. <laughs> It does sound like from Austin Powers, but it wouldn't be too surprising, kind of, from a Bond film. I know there was Octopussy. What's that? Oh, that? That's my little Octopussy. That's an actual quote from the film, by the way. Look it up. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, no, is there nothing in here? Shit. 
I was Goldfinger. It was a Sean Connery film. Oh yeah, sounds about right, doesn't it? Who are you? My name is Pussy Galore. I must be dreaming. Yeah, yeah. Now, now that I'm voice acting it, it does sound like a, a Sean, Con a line from a Sean Connery Bond film, doesn't it? Ooh, other music. Definitely was not Johnny English. Now that I've got a death beam that kills these horrible little fuckers, this stream's got a lot more relaxing. I wouldn't even be talking to you about pussy galore <laughs> if I didn't have this UV light. So praise the UV light. That definitely wasn't a game we can out, I hope. Oh my Christ! Oh! Oh! Uh, what the fuck are horrible Bloodborne eyes doing in my relaxing cat game? Excuse me? That's fucking horrific, mate. Uh... <laughs> oh, of course, or some say cousin. Oh, fuck this. Yeah. It's 50% cat game, 50% dystopian nightmare. Oh my god. Now of course I follow you. Why wouldn't they follow you? I <laughs> hope one of them rock eyebrows. <laughs> All these Bloodborne references in the chat, you guys get it. This is what happened to Woody and Burke in A. Hey, there's the Resi one, nice. Making distorted music all the more disturbing. Oh, I can't go into the goop hole. Oh, okay. This is definitely a gauntlet of sorts. Your brain for Five Nights at Freddy's really didn't shame on you, Nick. The references are going so well up until this point. <laughs> I dislike this room, I also dislike it. Like a shotgun. Cat 
cats in the crater is really getting some work out of this room. I wonder if you can just sprint through this room if you're quick enough. I'm just going out really slow because I'll actually end this entire series if the cat dies. So I'm not taking any risks. And the crazy was got the cool down. Oh, man, there's still more. Gonna nice and patient with me, chat. Not take any risks. I will not do anything that may put this cat's life in jeopardy. You know, my life is very, very, very much in jeopardy just being down here, but still. No further than that. Yeah, these things are very well animated. If you shine them for a little bit, but don't fully kill them, they probably stay for a really long time. Like that. Ugh. I can't believe this game was actually the thinking man's last of us. Who would have thought? It's a big old dent in that pipe. Oh man, I hope Momo's okay. Oh fuck. Ha! Ah, that one just fell into the war, dickhead. They're gonna open, and it's gonna be very scary. Listen. Listen to that of a dark- because listen to the Christopher Nolan strings. Something bad's gonna happen. You wanna know how I got these scars? My cat was a drinker and a fiend. <laughs> oh, game. They're all gonna open, I'm gonna get destroyed. Okay, alright chat, here's the plan. If everything goes tits up and all these eyes are open, we're gonna hide out to this corner and treat like our own little mini cabin fight. Deal? Deal. God, these strings are still going. How are we doing, chat? Sphincter still clenched. I know mine is. jump to in case I get uh trapped. Good good. 
you know some shit's gonna go down. I'm gonna kill all the cocoons, just to be certain. <laughs> the vine boom sound effect plays. Oh, you're gonna make me want to add that to the soundboard now. You ought to save. Alright, shit's gonna go down when I do this. Alright, remember the plan. No Zerk. Oh, here we go. Oh, you bitch. I gotta get to the other side. Okay. Alright. Let's do this nice and slow, everyone. You bitches, show me what you got. What are the other ones? There you are. As long as we uh, stand our ground near an escape route, we should be alright. They're coming. Sorry, right, we've got cats in the cradle, we should be fine. Okay, now we got to hop all over there. No, it's just whole ceiling come down on us. Oh man, it's music though. Five minutes of nothing but insanity strings. And we're good. Woo! Well done, little guy. <laughs> sure, that was tense as fuck. Oh, shame, that sucks. You're still alive. Oh, no, I'm a cat. There's nothing I can do about that. Shit. No, he's gone. We can smile again, chat. We're all right. It was literally a moment of... We're the ones with the death ray after all. Hey, that was our secret fee music. <sighs> Maybe it was playing because they were trapped in there with us. That's what I like to think. Oh. <laughs> uh, I may have spoke too soon. 
The only thing they fear is you cat version. <laughs> also, hello. Are we gonna fight a? Oh, am I gonna fight a boss in my cat game? Oh my god, we're gonna get a fucking boss fight in our cat game. I can't believe it. That's horrifying. Some hypnotoad shit. Uh, B12, little help. Get off the cat! Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, here we go, boys. Oh, mate. All right. Now the pinch really begins. Holy fuck. Oh my god. They're crawling on the walls! Ah! Oh, mate. Oh, shit. This game became a horror game again. I've got no death rate. Oh! Yes! Ooh. Oh. Uh, B12, are you okay? Oh, thank God. I hope B12 was dead for a second. You can't die. If you die, I'll be in deep shit. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. Holy shit, B12 just had an existential crisis on me. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The defoxer is completely destroyed. Now I'll have to be careful. Just can't start talking like Cell instead. You thought you'd never see me again, didn't you? Well, too bad. I'm alive. Oh, no, no death ray. Your death ray is completely gone now. Shit. All right. Man, poor B12. Actually had an existential robot crisis. He saw the world. <laughs> Oh man, this game is awesome. I'm really enjoying this game. It's so simple, but the world and uh, everything with, like and the level design and all these like little encounters and scenes are pretty cool. I'm liking it a lot. No more cats in the cradle now. Hey, I think. Yo, my do Momo. Wait, you're not Momo. I travel from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier, the little outsider? It's about to Zavi outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Oh shit, I thought the signs on the right were Amoogus for a second. No Zerk zone. Oh shit! Yeah, we got a new town! Ant Village! Cool! Oh man, look at this. Look at this, this is so cool. This is so cool, I love this. <laughs> Amogus. The great Deku tree. Yeah, dystopian version. Oh mate, I think I'm gonna have to end it off there, chat. 
Oh, our next time on Stray, we get to discover a brand new town by the looks of things. Oh, mate. It do, do you know what, Cabo? You're right. This does look like the machine village from the Automata. It's a dead ringer, actually. Except no one's waving white flags. And they should be on my kitty cat. They should worship me. Oh, well. I'll just meow it and get pets instead. I deserve it. This cat deserves all the hugs and belly rubs and milk after what this poor thing went through. Bloody hell. Again, you could tell this isn't a male cat because if it was... Its bollocks would actually be covering the screen, and I will be blind. Like, honestly, if this was a male cat, that would be all you'd see. Just that. That's how you know. Glory to the cat kind. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great night or day, wherever you are. Cheers for watching. See you next time. Take care, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye. Oh, I'm going to go see my kitty now.